Hey everybody, Ben Fredrickson here alongside Dave Matter for a video episode of the Eye on the Tigers video edition, which is sponsored by Closet Spot Design of St. Louis. For a limited time, you get 40% off any order of $1,000 or more, or 30% off any order of $700 or more. On top of that, you can get an additional 15% off any complete system order. And remember, you get free installation for any complete unit order of $500 or more. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN to order today. Dave, I've got two numbers at the top of my head this morning, um, 34 and 27. 34% shooting by Ole Miss and Mizzou's big lopsided win in Oxford, 27% shooting from three from the Rebels, which is a, uh, a stat that we haven't seen Missouri be able to hold opponents too much. Conzo Martin has talked about this team's defense. They've been, they've been soft on that end, not at Ole Miss. Have they found something, and can they keep this going against what's well, going to be one of the tougher parts of their schedule here? Yeah, there's been so much focus on Missouri's three-point shooting and lack thereof, and that's just who they are. They can't make threes, and you know, for the first time all year, they've stopped taking them. But on the defensive end, they've really struggled to stop teams from making threes, uh, really until recently, and, and in that game at Ole Miss. So they've got to tighten up on the perimeter. There, there's no doubt about that. They played pretty good defense for most of the day against Texas A&M until they really just wilted in the final five minutes. And, and, and Conzo, you know, he's always going to focus on defense first. That's just who he is. That's not going to change. And he made the point after the Ole Miss game, this is the first team he's ever had in coaching that didn't begin the year with the real defensive DNA. And he, he attributes that just to all the newcomers not playing together. But that has to be their strength, or at least it can't be a weakness because they're not overnight going to suddenly start, you know, making a whole bunch of threes every game. Uh, that's just not who they are offensively. Well, they're not taking them anymore. Is that something we're going to see stick around where the Tigers are basically maybe, maybe Boogie Coleman is allowed to, to shoot more than two to three threes in a game depending on how many he can make. But it seems like the other guys have prioritized getting to the basket, um, getting good twos as opposed to jacking up a bunch of threes for a poor three point shooting team. Yeah. Just seven attempts the other night, the fewest in a Missouri game by a Missouri team in eight years, uh, coincidentally enough, the opposing coach the last time they shot fewer threes was Conzo Martin at Tennessee, and Missouri won that game. Uh, so that really goes against the grain of today's game, but there's no sense in jacking those threes if you don't have guys that can make them. Like you said, Boogie can make a few. Uh, Deshaun Gordon can make a few. Kobe Brown can occasionally make a few. Javon Pickett was close to a 40% three-point shooter last year. He's not taking them at all now because his, his percentage has really fallen off. So they're attacking inside. Amari Davis has that nice 18 to 20 foot jumper, um, not the most efficient shot in basketball. That's what you'll hear people say all the time, but if he's making 10 of 10, that's pretty efficient. So uh, might as well keep doing that. Eventually teams are going to adjust to that. They're going to allow them to, um, you know, to dare them to take those threes that they can't make. So we'll see how Missouri adjusts now. Um, but, you know, I, I, whatever they tried the other night at Ole Miss, stick with that until it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, if Amari Davis is going to be a scorer like that and Ronnie DeGray, I thought that was the best game combined from the transfers that we've seen so far this season. So if that becomes a spark and this team continues that defense, then things could look a little better here for the Tigers. They get they got to get this over this bump in the road, Dave. They got Alabama, Auburn, Iowa State. But looking beyond that, there's really not any other SEC team not named Auburn or Kentucky that feels great about where its season is right now. So maybe the Tigers have found a little bit of a recipe here. We'll see. We'll have it covered at stltoday.com. For Dave Matter, I'm Ben Fredrickson. We'll talk to you next time.